right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Blu-ray collection update and unboxing. If you all don't know me, I'm David Cantu and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this recently as a way to kind of give people a heads up as to what's coming out now and in the upcoming weeks as far as Blu-rays and DVDs go. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump right in. I mean, we got a pretty good amount today, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first up is Star Trek Beyond, and this is the 4K Ultra HD version. This Come with the 4K disc, the Blu-ray, and digital HD. And as you can see here, it does have this cool reflective uh, slip cover there. Turn that around. You want to read what it's about if you don't know what it's about already. All right. Now, this movie, I'm actually really looking forward to this movie because um, this is another one that I miss in theaters. Uh, you know, I'm a huge Trekkie huge but this one just kind of bypassed me for some odd reason uh most likely life <laughs> but i'm definitely excited to, to check this one out especially since it's uh being directed by justin Lin, justin lynn um i'm a you know pretty good fan of of the uh fast and the furious movies so i'm i'm curious as to see um what he brings to you know this franchise so um i haven't i haven't heard any any bad things about it um, if you, uh, you know, let me know what you guys thought of the movie, if you've seen it, in the comments below. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. I do love these 4K cases, man. They just look, they look great. Oh, I didn't open. Um, there's just something about the, the sleekness of the black. It just looks really cool. Yeah, pop this open. Ooh, that's nice. I really didn't no notice that on the slipcover. There's, uh... A difference between the slipcover and the actual back of the 4k disc there's no uh, you know uh, photos here of the cast on the back here and this blue for some reason this blue I mean it's kind of honestly it's kind of hard to see uh, and read what it says but it does look kind of nice it pops you know in a, in a in a certain way so it's kind of cool let's go ahead and pop this open it does come with a digital copy and there goes the inside there no interior artwork but it does have that cool black you know interior and then the blu-ray and then the 4k copy there that looks pretty cool and then here goes the full look at it the front back and spine really cool i'm like i said i'm really looking forward to to checking this one out as well um and that one is out now from paramount home entertainment here and thank you to paramount for sending me this, this is really awesome thoughtful um next up is one that i am really um I, I've, I've never seen it but there's something about the you know movies like this that always kind of catch me and i i like to go back and revisit you know older movies and that is the initiation and this is uh, this is, comes out November 8th from Arrow Video. As you all know, and as I've said many times before, Arrow Video just, like, they kill it every time with uh, the ones, the, you know, the uh, the titles that they put out. You know, they put out just the right titles. Uh, they, they might not be the, the greatest movies in the world, but they are, you know, like these cult classics that people may have bypassed maybe because they were too young. Um, or, you know, just never got around to seeing them. So it, Arrow does a great job at, at uh, you know, releasing these on a Blu-ray. Let's go ahead and pop this open here. And there goes the back if you want to read what it's about. I see the special features. This one does look interesting, though. Um, it does have, uh, what's her name? Uh, Daphne Zuniga in it. Uh, you 90s people out there may remember Daphne Zuniga from Melrose Place. Um, she's in this film. I'm gonna pop this open. This cover art is really cool too. Interesting. All right. And as always, you got a cool, cool booklet. And you know the usual with these releases. You know, kind of production photos, things like that, and production notes, stuff. It's really cool like this and then the interior there nothing too extravagant for the 
for the disc art, but still really cool that there is disc art at least. Here, let's go ahead and show off the alternate cover. That's kind of cool. I like that. Gives you an option. I do, I do kind of like the cover though that's up here more so than that one. All right. So there you have it. There goes the front, back, and spine. And the initiation, like I said, does come out November 8th from Arrow Video. Arrow, man. You guys are killing it. And the upcoming stuff that Arrow has uh, in store for us is uh, nothing short of amazing. So be on the lookout for some more really awesome upcoming releases from Arrow Video. Um, next up is Army of One. And this is starring Russell Brand and Nicolas Cage. Um, a very odd pairing, I will say. Very odd, uh, you know, film for both of these guys to be in. Um, it does come out November 15th from Anchor Bay Home Entertainment. And um, from what I can gather here in the back, it, it, it is a comedy. And uh, it has to do with a guy that's basically... Uh, he gets his vision from God to go kill Osama bin Laden. <laughs> so he goes on this journey to go do that. Um, and it, it actually sounds pretty interesting. Uh, there goes the back there. If you guys want to read what it's about, you see what I mean. And then not really any special features, just the making of not much, but this movie does sound interesting. I'm not I, I'm not going to say I'm not the hugest fan of Nicolas Cage because there are some movies that I I kind of do like him in. Uh, let's go and pop this open. Uh, but in recent years, he hasn't made the best films. Um, and some of you out there may, may think otherwise. But honestly, this just not... They haven't been, you know, up to standards as, as his past stuff that I remember him, him in. But for some odd reason, I really want to see this movie because I don't, you, you, we really don't get to see Nicolas Cage in comedies very, very, uh, very often. And I think, <clears throat> I think something like this, like a comedy, um, kind of suits him now for some, for some reason. Maybe it's just his wacky personality or like basically the meme-tastic person that he's become. Uh, in the internet culture, but I think um, he would do really well in comedy. So I, I'm really curious to see how he does in this film and how, you know, it, it maybe this is his new genre to go into, you know, as opposed to being Mr. Mister Action Star all the time. You know, that to me, him being an action star now just seems kind of silly, but uh, being a, a comedic, you know, actor, I think it kind of suits him, to be honest. Uh, let me know if you think otherwise. It does come with digital copy. And here we go. All right. There goes the Blu-ray and then the DVD here. Anchor Bay actually gave us some, some disc art. And then just the reflective, uh, you know, uh, cover here for the, for the DVD version. No interior artwork. That's to be expected. And there goes front, back, and spine. And like I said, Army of One does come out November 15th uh, from Anchor Bay Home Entertainment. Um, if you guys are watching this after it's it's come out and you guys have picked it up, let me know what you guys think in in the uh, in the comments. I'm I'm curious. Like I said, you know, it just seems like he's kind of he kind of would be you know a, a good comedic actor. So there we have Army of One. Uh, next up is Indignation. And that comes out November 8th from Lionsgate. So this one does look interesting as well. Um, it stars with uh, Logan Lerman and Sarah Gaydon. Gadon. Um, it, it does say it's certified fresh. So it, it's at, at least, you know, worth a viewing. Um, if uh, Rotten Tomato, rot, honest, to be honest, like the site itself, I kind of don't, um, really go by what they say there. I, I just rather make my own opinions. But when when it's they kind of plaster it on a on a movie there, 
the, it at least gives it a little bit of credibility, you know, to, to kind of check it out. Um, if you guys want to read what it's about, you can pause that there. And special features, not many, not many, but um, any any sort of special features are uh, are appreciated. Even if it's just like a, a small making of, I mean, that, that's cool too. Go ahead and pop this open. Not much difference between the back and the slip cover. Just uh, some reformatted photos. Same, all same photos, but just reformatted a little bit. Pop this open. <clears throat> all right. Ooh, video day is always fun. Video Blu-ray video day is always fun. I always get to make a mess. Here. Alright. Does come with digital copy. And there goes the front, back, and spine. And the usual uh, Lionsgate release, you know, Blu-ray art. So nothing nothing too fancy. Uh, but yeah, Indignation does come out November 8th from Lionsgate, so take a look out for it then. Take a look here. Okay. All right. So again, this one does look interesting. It looks more of like a dramatic type of film. Um, and, uh, you know, as much as I like, um, you know, action and, and comedy and, and especially horror, I do appreciate a good dramatic movie every now and then. So... And Logan Lerman, he's a great actor. That dude is going to like... I mean, he's going to be around for a very long time, I think. His career is just getting started. Um, next up is... Uh, again, I, I'm kind of... Uh, I've kind of been uh, against these a little bit. But it's like another triple pack movie. Um, and this one is the three... Tri three okay. Just right off the bat, I don't understand why they put that three triple feature. Um, anyway, whatever. <laughs> as I Know What You Did Last Summer, When a Stranger Calls, and Vacancy. Actually, three really good titles that I really like a lot. So I'm actually uh, kind of stoked for this one. Even though, uh, you know, again, like I said, usually I am a stickler for, for like these, uh, you know, three and one or four and one uh, pack Blu-rays, just because I like the individual titles themselves. But, you know, um, if you're looking for uh, just some scary movies to watch, uh, affordable, you know, individually, you're probably looking at about like eh, maybe seven bucks each, something like that. Um, this is probably going to be about, I want to say, range between 10 to 15 dollars around that price range. So, this does it, you know, it kind of, um, it's a little bit more affordable than buying them, you know, separately, individually. So, yeah, and three really good titles, too. I, I really like, um, this is a guilty pleasure of mine when a stranger calls. Just because I remember uh, seeing the old movie a long time ago, and then uh, reading this, you know, various stories that were very similar to, to this kind of, you know, uh, story. And Vacancy was really good too. That that's also another uh, guilty pleasure of mine. I t actually, I think me and my wife watched that movie uh, maybe about uh, two months after we met, something to that degree. I think. Don't quote me on that. I hope she's not watching. Um, but yeah, so, um, and I remember that, that one being a real, real fun movie to watch as well. And of course, I know what you did last summer. Everybody knows the, um, the famous scene, uh, what are you waiting for? I, yeah, I, still to this day, uh, if I see like an empty street somewhere, I'll just walk out into the, to the middle of the road and just start doing that for no apparent reason. People will look at me like I'm crazy, but, um, I get the joke, okay? Go ahead and pop this open. And uh, as to be expected, there's not really, there's no special features on here either. It looks like it's just the uh, the movies themselves. Um, so I'm pop this open. And much like uh, much what I much like what I what I expected, uh, all three movies are on one disc. So I'm curious to see if it, you know, usually it does. Um, I'm curious to see though if in this release it takes away from any of the video quality. A lot of times when you add um, more than one film, even sometimes with two films, 
it does uh, downgrade the video quali quality a little bit. So I'm curious to see if, if uh, with, with three, um, and there's no special features, so maybe it won't make too much of a difference, but I, I, I almost want to bet that it, we're probably going to get some some really downgraded quality in, in the, the video of the film. So I, I'll report back if it does, and I'll, I'll kind of report back in the comments or something like that. Um, this one is out now from Mill Creek Entertainment. And I, I know there's not really much to look at, but there goes the front, back, and spine as well. It does have all three movies listed there on the spine. And it actually does have the actual like logos and things like that, so that's pretty cool. Instead of it just kind of uh, typed in, I think I think I want to say that the last one that I that I opened just kind of had them typed on the side, and it looked kind of kind of weird. Um, but now, um, I uh, actually have two personal picks that I picked up myself that weren't sent to me by any studio, and that is Star Trek Beyond Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. Um, I had to pick this one up. Just because of the cover, um, it, it, there's nothing too extravagant to be honest about about the steel book. Um, there's no embossing or debossing or anything like that. Uh, but the cover itself was worth buying, uh, just because it has it's the homage to uh, the original Star Trek the motion picture, which I will put a picture right here, so you can see there. I mean, it, it, I just like. That they do, you know, little touches like that. I have little touches like that. That, that honestly, that kind of means a lot to me. So um, let's go ahead and pop this open. Uh, we already saw the special features on the other release. Let's go ahead and see if I can open this up without damaging anything. Let's see. Yeah. I remember one time I ate a piece of this plastic accidentally, and I started freaking out. Because me, I, maybe you can't tell, but I'm a very, I can be a very paranoid person sometimes. <laughs> Let's see here. And we can get into that in another discussion if you like. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take off this J card. Alright, ooh, this looks nice. Alright, again, there goes the front. And there's the back, that back looks nice, I love it. That back cover looks amazing. I love that. That's really cool. The NCC-1701 Enterprise. So cool. Let's get a little closer look so you can kind of see it there. Really nice. And then spine. I'll pop this open. Does come with digital copy. Yeah. And, um... And then the two discs there. That is, if you can see me, I can see you. Uh, the Blu ray and then the DVD there. That's really cool. Now, the inside, um, the, you know, again, a lot of times I really look forward to the interior artwork. And um, there is none. All you see is pretty much just stars. Let me see if I can get closer now. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, right there. Let me see my light. But yeah, you can kind of just see stars there. Which kind of sucks. But, you know, um, it's something, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of don't know how to, to how to take that. I, I really wish that they could have done something really creative uh, with the inside. And um, they kind of... Uh, again, I feel like it, it was a missed opportunity. Just like with uh, the... Um, Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. I feel like that was a really uh, big missed opportunity to, to put in some really cool interior artwork, and they didn't. But, like I said, I do love this cover a lot. Like, a lot. So, again, th this was just this was worth it in itself. And you can find this one for 20 bucks at Best Buy. Uh, only Best Buy. Uh, and it, the, when I went to pick it up, there was a whole lot still there. So, there shouldn't be... Uh, a big problem trying to find this one if if you really want to get this one soon. Um, and let's see here, what else? Mess, mess, mess. This what else? And next up is Transformers the movie. This is the last one for today, but um, I did want to uh, pick this one up. I finally got around to picking this one up 
Um, this was one of my favorite movies uh, growing up, obviously, because it's Transform. Who didn't love Transformers growing up? Well, there's probably some people, but uh, the majority of, of kids love Transformers growing up. Um, and, you know, this was one of those movies that uh, when I heard that the movie was coming out, I think I want to say that I was... Um, I saw it a little later, like when I was a little older, but I remember hearing about the movie and I was like, oh, I really want to see it. I want to see it so bad. And, uh, my mom didn't want to let me watch it at the time because, um, I want to say, I can't remember who it was exactly. Was it Rodimus or, uh, um, what's his name? I can't remember. One of them said shit, I think. Or something to that degree <laughs> in the movie. And my mom was like, no, no, they, they say bad words in the movie. And now I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I can watch it all I want now, mom. How about that? Take that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop this open. Uh, ah, I, do like, I do like that sticker. I think I'm going to cut this sticker out and just kind of save it. It looks really cool. All right, and... Well, this just kind of came off, but there it goes. You can see the special features there. All right, if you want to read what it's about, let me see. I'm going to read what it's about in case you have not seen it, which a lot of people have already. This was one of those. This was um, the first time that I can recall that uh, they killed Optimus Prime. Oh, spoiler alert, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, and I was thinking, oh, man, he's never coming back. And he came back. And just like they do in the movies, time and time again, they try to kill him, they off him, whatever, and he just keeps coming back. So um, I'm waiting for the day that they're going to surprise us in the movies and just off him for good or, or not bring him back, you know, for like a movie or two and see what happens. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, Transformers, a movie, is it is out now. From Shout Factory, and you can find these on Shout, Shout Factory's website, or um, like I found, I found it at Best Buy, twenty-five dollars, not bad. It's actually not bad price at all, and I love the way that it just shines, it shines really nice. And the colors, when it when held up against the light, it kind of it really like those colors pop really nicely, and the back here, till all are one, and it's a silhouette of Unicron. Which is really cool. Like that. Let's go ahead and pop this open. And there is a digital code, actually. And, okay, cool. So there are the discs there. And from the look of it, it looks like it does give you the full frame option, which is really nice if you want to see it in its, uh, in its original format or the widescreen version, which is really cool as well. I'm a widescreen person. I, I just... I always have been, um, even when when DVDs. Do you remember when DVDs for, were for, were first coming out, and they had they each had like the the reflective, you know, uh, top and bottom, and you had to flip the disc, side A or side B for the widescreen or the full screen. I you know um, John from the Bot Squad podcast actually just reminded me about that um, not too long ago, and I was like, oh my god, like I completely forgot about that. Yeah, so. Uh, even back then, I used to love just watching widescreen movies. So I felt like that, that, that was the, um, you know, the format that it was intended to be in, anyway. So, the interior artwork. Now, they see, right here, they did a good job. And it's just logos. It's something fairly simple, but it's very effective. Autobot and Decepticon logos there. Looks really nice. And there goes the full front, back, and spine of this steelbook. Amazing steel bike. I, I cannot wait to watch this movie again and again and again. So there you have it. Put the full frame in the back because I'm not going to be watching full frame. What am I? Savage? Anyway, there you have it. Uh, like I said, it is out now from uh, Shout Factory. Um, find it on the website. Um, you can probably find it on Amazon. It's probably going to be a little bit more expensive on Amazon. Or you can try searching your Best Buys. Uh, the Best Buy that I went to did have um, a decent amount left. About five or six. So you can probably find them at a Best Buy for $25. So check them out then. And that is all that we have today 
hope you guys dug some of these releases. If you guys dug them, um, any of them at all, give this video a thumbs up. And there are links in the description below if you guys want to purchase them through those links. It does help me out a lot. It really does. Um, hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. That really helps me out a lot. We are, as of this video, we are at 1,300 subscribers. Um, and thank you guys so much for all that and all the support out there. It really means a lot. Um, it, I don't, I can't even express how much that it's, uh, this channel has grown and how much I appreciate each and every one of you guys out there, uh, for checking out these videos, commenting, uh, just interacting, you know what I mean? Um, and, um, if you guys are curious as to why this stuff is, uh, <laughs> is around this spider web stuff is, uh, we just actually did a podcast just recently. So that's up on the on the YouTube uh, channel as well. You can check that out there. It is the Bot Squad Halloween Spectacular. Um, and then we also did, in that podcast, we also did uh, the Three Chip Challenge. And I'm not going to say too much. There's also a separate video just of that challenge on the channel as well. So check it out if you guys have a moment. Um, it would mean a lot as well. So thank you guys for watching. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time. Bye.